Hello there, I'm your friend Dave and today we'll be doing dual boot of Windows 8.1 and Ubuntu 14.04. Well this demonstration is done on Samsung Series 3 notebook but it can be applicable for various other. This procedure is same, the only thing is I have faced a little bit of problems with Toshiba and Lenovo and Sony Wire. So I recommend you, you can go with uh, this procedure apart from those three. So let's proceed. First things first, backup your data. Taking a backup of your data is very crucial. Let me illustrate this with a story. The first time when I tried dual booting my operating system, I did something wrong and my system just crashed. Nothing was there on my hard drive, all of the data gone, poof, just like that. So do backup your data, it is very important. Then free up a partition of at least 20 GBs. Well, I have done a 20 GB partition, but I recommend at least a 40 GB of partition to install Ubuntu because a 20 GB partition will be filled up quite quickly and it will decrease your performance on Ubuntu. So a 40 GB partition will be enough. Free up 40 GB of space in one partition. Always keep in mind the possibility of losing your operating system. In that case, I recommend you back up your operating system on a separate external hard disk. That will be a good idea. Then. Before proceeding, you need to download an ISO file for Ubuntu 14.04. The link for the download is given in the description below. Then warning, do follow the instruction as they are. Because if you do something extraordinary or which is not given in the instructions, that may cause you a lot of trouble. Then secure mode, you need to learn something about the secure mode. While installing, you will get to see a few things known as the secured mode the UEFI and the legacy. In general, you need to disable the secure mode to install any third party operating system like Ubuntu. If there is no option to disable or enable secure mode in your BIOS setup, then you have to disable the UEFI mode. These are the two modes UEFI and legacy. In legacy mode, it is basically for the old version of Windows. So legacy is for Windows and when UEFI mode is enabled, it will prevent installation of your operating system. Try to install your operating system with UEFI enabled. If your operating system boots, it's the best thing. But if it doesn't, then you have to disable the UEFI mode. So, secure mode, disable it. UEFI, try to install enabling UEFI. If it is not possible to install in UEFI enabled mode, disable UEFI settings and try to install it again. Each BIOS setup is different. Though I have demonstrated the BIOS setup of this PC, still BIOS setup of each PC may differ. Then search for the key to enter BIOS setup in advance. You need to search for a key to enter the BIOS setup in advance because keys to enter BIOS setup in advance differ from PC to PC. In my desktop PC, I enter BIOS setup through escape key by using escape key. Restarting my PC, pressing escape continuously. Then in this PC, I enter BIOS setup using F12 key. In my friend's PC, I enter BIOS setup using F10 key. Do search for the key to enter BIOS setup in advance. So first you need to create a partition on your windows. To do that, enter run. Type in disk mgmt.msc and press OK. This will open the disk management tool. In this, you will get to see all of the partitions that are present on your system, on your hard drive, partitions of your hard drive. So I will demonstrate how to create a partition on this partition backup name named backup. I will right click it, click on this shrink volume. Then this will open. This is the free space available. This is the total space of the disk and I will enter the part size of the partition that I need to create which should be smaller than the free space available. I will create a sample of 4 GB partition. So this will be the partition that is created. This is unallocated and unformatted. You don't need to format it, just keep it unallocated. By doing this, you have created a partition where we will be installing Linux. I recommend you creating a partition of at least 40 GBs. So now you will be downloading the universal USB installer. Click on this link. This will open this page. Then scroll down and you need to click here. This will download as I already downloaded the file. I won't be downloading it, downloading it again. This is the file that you need. Open it. I agree. Click on the operating system that you need to install. Now Ubuntu. You can also download the ISO directly. 
but uh, as you have already downloaded you will browse the ISO file so this is the ISO file click open now you need to select the pen drive choose it carefully very carefully this is the pen drive that I need to use if in case it is better to format it and create and this is these are warnings just remember one thing whenever this procedure is going on do not try to touch your pen drive or eject it directly that may corrupt your pen drive and uh, it may not be used again so the procedure is complete I've skipped it so close this is the bias setup here in the boot menu you need to disable this secure mode so click disable save it I won't be doing it as uh, it runs properly on my system hit enter save it and exit it yeah save changes and exit so when you boot it will open like this with uh, Ubuntu 14.04 loading something like that it will take a while so here it is you need to install Ubuntu onto your system so what we'll be doing is choosing a language from this left side and clicking on install it is better to keep your power source plugged in that will be a better idea your space should be at least free but it is we have click on continue then you can install alongside uh, windows 8 but i recommend you to choosing something else you need to choose something else because sometimes that do not work properly something else so this is the list of partitions as we have created a 4gb partition click on the free space now on this plus button we will be creating a swap partition first so say for example um, 500 mbs at the it will be logical at the beginning of the space and you need to choose a swap area here click ok a swap partition will be created create a swap partition of at least 2 to 4 GBs for a 40 GB partition now this is the remaining space will be in, where you will be installing Ubuntu click on plus button again then the remaining space as it is beginning of the space file system ext4 and forward slash click, click this and hit ok so the partition will be created this will take a while uh, click on that remember to select your whole hard drive here and then click on install now the, you need to select your location hit continue then your keyboard layout it can detect it hit continue if it's ok then you need to input your username your name I have demonstrated this procedure on VirtualBox as it is not possible to record it on the PC but the procedure is same you can enter your password you can also log in automatically if you need without using the password then by entering the password hit continue the installation procedure will start now this is gonna take uh, a lot of time it may take from 15 minutes to 1 hour depending on your configuration the installation procedure is complete now I will be restarting the PC when restarting this is my this is the actual video of my PC here you can select Ubuntu or Windows Manager so thank you for watching this video friends if you like this video please hit like button if you have any queries put it down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe thank you stay tuned